Electrification of air travel is, is probably the hardest bit of our CO2 net zero um, strategy to reach. It's difficult because airplanes require a lot of energy and they require a lot of power. And, and so this makes the engineering challenges one of the most difficult ones to meet. But engineers love difficult challenges, so we've got a fascinating 10 years ahead. The Yasser journey has been a long, a long journey and obviously we started off in automotive but right from day one we recognised that the technology had a great fit with the aerospace industry. So I think what I find incredible is watching how the world has changed in that space of time. You've gone from a world that really didn't even see a future in electric cars to seeing that come to life and now seeing a world where people are really starting to believe that electric aviation is the future as well. One of the great attributes of the YASA technology is it's very compact and very lightweight, so it's got an excellent fit into aerospace application. Obviously immensely proud to get the news that these world records are broken, and I, and I think some of the feedback as well from Rolls-Royce is that, that they were broken by such a significant amount, and having been involved in a few world record type projects before, um, this was really quite, quite different. The project was a three-party project between Electroflight, um, Rolls-Royce and Yasser got to collaborate on the project to provide the propulsion system. To, to break a world record by 132 miles an hour is pretty astonishing, so to get that uh, 345 miles an hour it was uh, yeah, an amazing performance by, by, by the team. My grandfather, Robert Fielden, was involved with Frank, Frank Whittle in getting the first jet engines flying on aeroplanes. It was about 80 years ago. So it's an incredible bit of history that 80 years later, I've had the privilege of working on the you know, first electric aircraft to, to travel at these kind of speeds. So I think he'd be immensely proud. I think he'd be fascinated in the way technology is evolving as well. So it was around 80 years ago that the first flight was taken with jet engines. And I think if we scroll forward 80 years, there will be a complete transformation of this industry. My hope for this project is that um, it really spawns investment and change into the whole industry. The, the industry requires both time and money to change into zero emissions, and I, I think this project can accelerate that. If we've seen what's happened in automotive in the last 10 years, the pace of change is what is so astonishing. And so I think um, yeah, we're going to see this industry really transformed in the next 10, 20, 30 years. And we're going to see cities becoming greener, cleaner, quieter. EV tolls are going to enable the ability to travel both city to city and country to country in green electric transportation.